Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Welcome back to 29 Games in 29 Days. Today we are playing Mind Over Magic on day 21. Uh, Mind Over Magic is brought to us by Clay Publishing, which I think is the, the people responsible for Oxygen Not Included. I don't know much about the game. As you can see, it's in early access. At the time of recording this, the game is £17.09. Uh, let me read you a little bit. Design, build and manage your magic school to explore what lies below. Study lost arcana, grow exotic plants, brew potions and raise undead servants. Only you can prepare your fragile students to harness their mind over magic. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to start a new game. I've, I've literally just started the game and then realized I wasn't recording. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, we're going to go with relaxed. Take your time to explore and experiment. Dangers lurked, but well-managed mages can handle it. Great for newer players or those wanting to experience the game with less pressure. Free starting staff, fog advanced at a relaxed pace, maximum of two concurrent events, start with completed research, put stuff here, rustic gourmet, and domestic gut breeze. Okay, let's get going, shall we? Um, and uh, I don't know much about, um, about it. What have we got? Once a school stood here. Time, however... Uh, Round that fine institution institution to rubble. I entrust you with the stewardship of the new age of magical learning. Rebuild the school, train brilliant new mages, explore the under school. It won't be easy, but I believe you are up to the task. Though my body is long gone, my spirit yet lingers and will serve you faithfully. Cat Gitty. Cat Gite? <laughs> Founder of the Institute of Blood Church. Uh, we want to be the uh, SDG School of Magic. Okay, good. Good, good. Oh, mad magic in it. Right, okay, perfect. Uh, let's hit continue. Uh, what have we got here? St select starting staff. So we've got Dalton, who, what the heck is Dalton? Dalton's a vivified. A race of former quilted servants who somehow gain sentience. Nobody knows how. High HP and will eat just about anything. Um, so that's their HP. That's their power. That's their speed. And that's their mana. Okay. And magic heart bronze medallion. If a mage loses all their health points in battle, they will suffer a trauma and be knocked out. Mages can sometimes gain more HP. And they do fire damage. Okay. Um... Then we've got you. You're a wolfkin. Creatures, wolf-like creatures uh, that will eat animals whole. Okay. And you've got a water wand. I guess we're okay with that. You've got less health. Okay, interesting. And then we've got you. You are human. Elsbeth. Uh, and uh, you have earth magic. Okay. I mean, I don't know if any of this is good or bad, so let's do it. Okay, here we are. I have to say, looks amazing in terms of the graphics and everything else. Uh, learn about Repel Fog. A destructive, malevolent, uh, no, yeah, malevolent maiz, miasma. Uh, the fog surrounds the school, drawing closer each nightfall. The fog will destroy most furnishings in its path. If the fog washes over the school, the school is destroyed and the game ends. Pushing it further out will reveal new resources to use and dangers to avoid. Force the fog to retreat by performing the repel fog ritual at the mana font. Have I got to do that? Take it, this is the mana. Ooh. Take it, this is the mana font. Okay. Repel fog. Can we see the fog? Oh, yeah, look, it's everywhere. Look. Okay. Who are we going to get to do it? Does it matter? We'll get you to do it. Okay. So people are doing stuff, I think. You are repelling the fog. Nice. And people are coming up the stairs, look. Learn about basic controls. To control the camera, W, A, S, and D. Weird that W and A go up and down. Uh, w and S, sorry, go up and down in terms of scrolling vertically on the screen. Wheel mouse up, wheel mouse down, zoom in and out. Uh, the top left of the screen is where tutorial messages uh, was bouncing in this feed, key information and alerts, 
Bottom of the screen, there are time control. Oh, sorry, there are time controls. Pause the game by clicking the pause button or pressing space. Control the speed at which the game, the time progresses by clicking the free play buttons. The bottom left of the screen have various visual tools. Okay, collecting resources. Mind over magic is based on indirect control over mages. Mark tasks for mages to accomplish on objects in the world. They will proceed to tackle those tasks according to priorities. Select objects in the world, clicking on them. Action buttons will appear next to the pane at the bottom of the uh, on the bottom left. Example will include mine or stone outcrops, chop, etc., etc. Once an action button is toggled on mages, will mages will take that care of that task. If they have many tasks to accomplish, prioritize tasks by using one to five buttons at the bottom of the selection pane. Okay. Or edit some mage individual priorities using the priorities tool. Uh, collecting resources from objects in the world is necessary. Okay, so let's let's pause for a second. What are you doing over here? Refilling the founder's grave. Also, what are you? Catgite. 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 Oh God. Uh, this is the founder. Okay. Fair enough. Waiting for tasks. So we're going to chop down some trees, right? Chop. Where do I see the priorities? Um, oh, I see over here. I guess we're just going to chop all of these down as it turns out. Is there more over this way? There is. Okay. How far along does this go? I wonder. Okay, a little way. Let's unpause then and let them chop down these trees. I don't know if I need these trees for anything, so let's just chop them all down. And it looks like we've got new ones growing. Good work, everybody. Love that. Okay, so that's the same tutorial. So trees are, trees are being knocked down. We see it. We see it happening right in front of our eyes. It's taking a bit of time, mind you. You're heading over there, Elsbeth. Is there a way oh, up here? Wood. 58 wood we've got. We've got we've got build, demolish, task priority, gather. Okay, am I meant to be doing anything else? We've got no more tutorials, so I guess we just carry on. And I guess we build our school here, right? Okay, interesting. You've almost chopped down all of the trees. I was expecting more tutorials to pop up, but apparently not. We got down here, Student Summoner and the Book of Rituals. Okay. And I guess we need to mine these things, right? I mean, we were chopping down every tree. That's probably the reason it's it's not progressed with any more tutorials is because we didn't mine any anything else that's on me that one i don't know if i'm meant to be doing anything with anything else oh trees popped up here we go learn about construction no walls built okay to build the build palette in the bottom left bar can be used to spend resources to create objects in the world the first step towards building a school on, on the foundation is selecting construction from the build tool walls and roof pieces can be used to create left click on the first block and then move the mouse again left click to complete the placement placing them instructs available mages to gather necessary materials to bring them to the construction site uh, cancelling a placement deconstructing construction or disassembling construction a completed uh, furnishing will refund all resources spent 
Uh, they will only use materials that are available to them. Okay. So I guess we want to build a wall here. How tall does it need to be? Do I know? Also, how do I build staircases up and down? Let's not worry about it. Let's... I think I made a terrible error. <laughs> we'll get we'll get there, I promise. Okay, how do I Okay, we, I guess we don't have enough for these because we're still still working on it. Oh, okay. So this is showing you how far out you can build. In the bottom right hand corner, new supports must be supported. Okay, interesting. I don't know how tall a room needs to be. Is that the same height? I don't know. Okay, so we need to build a room in the middle. We also don't know how big rooms need to be here. A whole hallway, hold on. Let's have, let's have a little check. Learn about doors and hallways. Placing a door or a hallway on a wall uh, or on a floor intersection will create an opening in the wall for mages to pass through. A hallway is free to place and use in no manner. A door keeps unwanted creatures uh, and has assignable rules. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Have we got a door? Yeah, we want a door here, right? To head outside. Oh, hold on, could we have... I keep, I'm going to keep saying, oh, hold on. Can I have... Oh no, I'm cancelling this wall and I don't... No, I'm not. Okay. Um, can I have moved this down? Like, is there a way of saying, actually, I don't want it here. I want it over there. I don't think so. Okay, well, let's build two doors. I don't know how we do stairs upwards. We've got a spiral staircase. We've got this, which look like... Okay. Okay, so what if I then built a wall down here? Can I put that there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think I prefer these staircases to the other ones, but I don't know. And then we want another... Oh, does that not allow you to... I've changed my mind. I don't like these staircases. <laughs> this is this is going to take a bit of practice, right? This is going to take a tad, a tad, a tad of practice. Uh, we got the spiral staircase. They're the only two that we can make. Okay, let's do that. So we can have a spiral staircase going all the way up. continue to build this floor across? No. Because I don't have any stone or wood. Or one of those. Or the other. I don't... I guess I don't need all of my people on... Is there a way of changing their tasks? Uh, priorities. I guess I don't need all of my people on constructing, right? If I put you on mining, although I suspect you're the best at mining and you're the best at construction, so let's put you on those. Let's get you on, um, or one of you, your fire, water, earth. Uh, what's tree chopping chop? We're going to have to come back and look at these anyway, right? So. Okay, that'll do, right? Because then we've just got one person constructing, which is fine. Um. We can mine these ones. 
ones as well. Oh, we haven't got a door in here. Okay, that, that's probably an issue. A uh, door. Put one there. And we'll put one there. What just happened? Unreachable object yet. Yeah. Learn about rooms, learn about stairs. Well, let's get this built first, and then we can deal with that. Okay. Can we build these? I forgot to build a door. So as long as we can do our spell, we probably need to worry about food, which we haven't learned about yet. Okay, we're building some spiral stairs. I like the spiral stairs. They look pretty nice. I wish I could replace these. Get rid of these and have a spiral staircase there, but apparently not. You can always make the, 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 the ceiling as well if you wanted. And maybe make this door. So people can get through the other side. That feels like it might be important. Okay. I mean, things are happening. I don't know if they're happening particularly well or not. I do, I will say, graphically looks incredible, right? What are you doing? Restoring mana, okay. Yeah, get this door down. Thank you. You're going to come out this side and do your thing, right? Perfect. Open book of rituals. So this... Okay, so this is telling us what we need to do this. Okay, so we need some guts, breeze and stuff. Okay. Lights. Storage. Keep mining over here. Oh, we still didn't finish this floor piece. Hold on. Can I do this now? Nice. Love that. Okay, learn about stairs. Stairs provide a way to move between floors. A stair can only be placed on the back of the school and rise at a 45 degree angle. They will cut through walls and floors to create a path. Um, a spiral staircase rises vertically in a spiral pattern and cut through floors. Rooms. Rooms are a fundamental building block of the school. Uh, enclosing a space using a combination of walls, floors, roofs, and uh, will automatically create a room. Uh, roofs are cheap, quick to assemble and prevent rain. Floors are a bit more expensive, but let your majors traverse them. Walls provide support for your school, so you can always... I can't believe it just told me what floors, roofs, and walls are. Um, you can always deconstruct blocks in order to recoup the full resource cost. Don't be afraid to build a roof for now and tear it down later. Okay, we may have made a mistake there. In addition to providing shelter, rooms can allow new rituals and tasks to be performed at furnishings in the room, as well as improving the type of room created is based on the size, the location, the contents and the shape of the enclosed area. Open the room view, F1, to browse all of the currently available types of room. Okay. We'll come back to that in a second. Hopefully we can we can get this built. Um, I guess we need more floors. This might be a silly, uh, sorry, more walls. I wonder if we, once we've built these, if I can put a roof on. Um, we might not have enough wood. Oh, hold on, there's another tree to chop here. 
Get on it. You're doing a grand job. You more stone, for sure. Also, what's this doing right outside? Okay. How come we don't have a back to this room? Oh, because that bit isn't built, I see. Okay. Well, let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? Nice. Learn about room keywords. Rooms may require certain keywords to be completed. Uh, keywords typically relate to how the room is constructed rather than the furnishings inside it. Elevated, no adjacent rooms or foundations. These rooms must have open air below. What? Grounded, all floors must be a foundation. But these on the ground floors of the school towered. Uh, no adjacent rooms to the left or the right. Uh, lofted, taller than it is wide. Okay. Private, only one point of entry, hallway doors uh, and stairs into it. Three rooms, all counts of point of entry. Isolated. Okay. So we've learned about those. And I guess if we come over here and look at the rooms. So let's say a bedroom. Okay. We've got schoolroom. And a school room. We have no food. We have no food. I don't know how to fix that. I guess I could put this in here and see what happens. Learn about school expansion. Once foundation is full, uh, there are still many options for expansion. The easiest way is to expand up using stairs and additional walls and floors. You can add more stories on your school. You can also even place new construction on top of the old without removing what you've already built. Your majors will deconstruct anything in the way. Okay. So you're going to make this pot. Nice. Okay, we're coming out here to build this wall. Is there any more trees? No. A scullery, six luxury grounded, plus 25% cooking rate. Add meal, a gut breathe soup. I'm guessing you don't need to eat, since I think you're a ghost. Insufficient ingredients. Hold on, what do gut breeze look like? Shadow knot. What was the other thing we could cook? Carcass stew. Okay. Have we got any gut bree doodars? Oh, here we go. Harvest, 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 and harvest, maybe? Let's get someone harvesting. I don't know what happens if we harvest these and we harvest too many, but uh, who can be our harvester? Let's make you harvest, shall we? Yes, people are going upstairs. We're doing some harvesting. Love that. Learn about crafting. Crafting furnishings can be used to create all sorts of helpful items for the school. In the crafting tab on the crafting station, select a recipe that from any that have been unlocked. 
Each recipe in the orders queue can be reordered by clicking and dragging. It's also possible to adjust. Okay. So is someone going to come and do some co cooking? Can we get you to do some... Co oh, this fella's, this fella's coming. Josephine, this fella. Well, luckily you've got the fire wand, I guess. You haven't. You've got the water wand. Okay, that makes perfect sense. There's one soup. So we'd really like to make some chests, right? I guess. One smoke stick. What does that look like? Smoke reed? Should we harvest these and just see? Also, what do we need to do that, that ritual, I wonder? Are these going to give us a smoke stick? That's the question. I haven't finished the damn walls. It'd be nice to get a chest and then put it in the um, in the kitchen, right? Because then we can put all our gut breeze in there and job done. Oh, the smoke just got closer. I see. Okay. The fog, not smoke. Sorry. Smoke stick. Nice. Okay. How many of these did we need? I think just one. Okay, let's plonk you there. I don't know if it's the right way around, but fine. And then I think we want a roof, right? For now. bring it down it feels like it's a bit high I think I've broken it I think I've, bro <laughs> I think I've broken it let's try and build another <laughs> let's try and build another roof I think I boosted it up somehow I don't know if I need it to be this high That'll do, right? For now, that'll do. And I guess we can... Okay, we've got more things to build. We can do some lights, really. And some beds. You guys gonna have to work through. Sorry. Why isn't anyone eating? Consume. Okay. All staff meals. Allow all. Yes. For now. Anyone want to come and eat this soup? Are they all just being like, learn about hunger? They're all being too kind. Mages require food to survive. See their current hunger level on the needs tab. Um, mages with empty st hunger bars will suffer high penalties to their conviction. The simplest way to feed mages is by harvest gutbury vines. Nobody likes a gutbury meal, but it is it satisfies the hunger. Better meals could be made by crafting them in the gruel pot. So they could have been eating the things anyway. So why isn't anyone eating these? I don't quite get the... I don't, I don't quite get it. <laughs> so they can eat all of this stuff. Are they actually... Where's their hunger need? Oh, over here somewhere? Hunger. You're full, okay. You don't need to eat. Okay, that's good news. We'll be able to f to deal with that one. Very hungry. So it's you. Why aren't you eating? I guess we just keep going and see what happens. Let's 
Good. Oh. Are you dead? Are you asleep? Sleeping. Okay. Yeah, everyone's sleeping on the floor. We're okay with that. We need to go and do this ritual again, right, as well. We'll do it in a bit. Oh, and I suppose you could come and do it, right? Since you don't seem to get tired or anything. Where are you going? You're taking some gut breeze. I guess that's what it needs. Okay, fine. Uh, let's speed this up again. Whilst people are asleep. And you're repelling the fog, I guess. Taking an hour to do, whereas the last one took like five minutes. Okay. I guess we can get you on construction while this is going on, right? really like to build some lights as well but let's let's keep going we're on okay nice we got some doors we're now working on the walls I don't know if we're doing well or terribly, if I'm really, if I'm really honest. Near starving, right? How do I get you to eat? Are you going to come and eat now? Yes. Good work, you. You're the best. Okay, we've got storage. So I want to clear all. I want to allow meal ingredients and allow meals, right? Perfect. Although I'm a little bit worried we might run out of gut breeze. I'm guessing they're going to be fairly quick to to appear because we need them for the ritual okay once we're done up here I can put in some bedrooms right in fact we should try and do that now what does it take to build a cot and can I build them all next to each other Can we build some lights and what do they take? Viscera. We don't seem to have any of that. I guess we can try and hunt a, a rat or two. Are they used for anything else? I don't know. We're almost done. We've done it. We've built a whole house. Look at us. School, I mean. Okay, beds are going in. Okay. Luxury bedroom. It's lofted. Um, I missed whatever the rest of that said. <laughs> Which is a tad annoying. If I go to the rooms thing down here, I can change the colour of it. Nice. We'll have green over here for you lot. Perfect. Okay, you're coming over here to cook. We're okay with that. And you're hitting a rat. Okay, and we got some viscera. Okay, what did I need that for? Lights. 
and I'd very much like some lights. There we go, get some lights in here. Perfect. That's much better. Look how homely it is. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. No wand shaper built. We should have a read of that one, right? Build a wand shaper. Wand shapers craft wands for magical components used in rituals. Okay, can I build one down here? Looks like it. Is that going to be a problem? Don't know. What if I built it here? So what else have we got? We got f the stuff we can already build. A cot. Crafting. What's this? Arcane secretary. Is that what that says? Used by the research. Okay. Can we put that down here as well? I'm doing it. I don't know if that's wise or not, but I'm doing it. We've got 10 meals. Oh, yeah, because we've got a load of guts breeze. And I guess we should just start harvesting stuff, right? And chopping down some more trees. Again, I don't know if these things disappear after a period of time. Let's, uh, let's slow this down a little bit. Okay. Learn about lighting. Without torches and other light sources, rooms will be dark, uninviting, and prone to void shroom infestations. <laughs> okay, good. When fully grown, void shrooms drain mana from nearby mages. Staff can use nature to harvest them for void cap. A room lighting is determined by placing windows, torches, and other light sources. Uh, press F2 to view the lighting. Is that, is that good or bad? This is a dark room. Okay. So we could possibly do with another torch in here, is what you're saying. But we need to kill another rat. We've got a void room. We've got a void room. Not sure that's great. And I suspect we'll get one up here. Ice flower. Uh, okay. So these things are still being built. They're just going slowly. I'd really like another torch, please. Okay, this thing's being built. One shaper. This thing is really slow to harvest. Let's uh, let's keep going a little bit. Finding the right speed's a bit tough, but someone's going to kill a rat any second now. I can feel it. got the void cap nice still no still no torches we can set the priority right but ok 
Okay, this is almost done. Right. No wands built. Wand used by uh, wizards to cast spells. Permanently binds to his de de this destined student. Uh, crafts magical wands from magical components used in rituals at the student summoner. Uh, to summon a student to the school. I don't suppose I can build down here, right? I can't like excavate this. Okay. Do we want a student summoner? I thought I saw one of those somewhere. Oh, we can make planters. Okay. That doesn't seem like the worst shout, actually. Okay, we're getting the rat. Nice. Dimly lit. I feel like that's what it should be in a... In a little wizard's house, right? That's the way it should be. Please don't set fire to anything. Okay, this has come back in. So we can come and do the ritual again, I guess. I can put more people on it. Does it take less time? Possibly revealed. Okay, so it reveals more stuff. Okay, fine. You lot come down and do this spell. I could have probably done a better one, right? There was a superior one. Look at these guys doing their thing. Nice. They did it. Think they did it? Did they do it? I don't know if they did it. Doesn't look like it retreated that much. void cap. I guess these grow in dimly lit rooms as well. Okay. I hear ya. I have to kill another rat. I mean, I guess getting these isn't the worst, but we probably just want it in a controlled location. Okay, what do we get? We've got no wand built, so we want to build a wand. Wand crafting, add wand, a fire wand, a water wand, an earth wand, an air wand, a dark wand... A nature wand, a lightning wand. I mean, it stands to reason that we want a dark wand, right? We need to kill more rats, though. Get killed, rats. A foggy crystal, what's that? I don't feel like this went far enough back. Okay, while they're asleep, let's speed this up. Uh, learn about summoning students. In order to summon students, perform a ritual at the student summoner. To find and summon the students that uh, matches the created one. To craft a one, start... Okay, we'll, we'll do it. We're on it. Where can I build it? What was a student summoner under? Does anyone remember? Um, I'm sure I saw it somewhere. Oh, it's down here, right? We've already got it. It's in his own room. Perfect. Oh, 
I don't know if are these Okay, so they are growing, I see. Learn about research. Arcane's uh, Arcane Secretary uh, gives mages the ability to explore available research. Selecting a topic will trigger staff to use lightning to uncover the secrets of that task. Sometimes require arcane scrolls, adept scrolls, and savant scrolls in order to make progress. See the arcane adept and savant scroll tutorial for help. Okay, that's this thing, right? Oh my goodness. So we've already got that. Put stuff here we've already got. Basic rituals. Dance the night away. Sounds fun. What have we got over here? Rustic dining. A dining table. Light my fire. Critical care. Shine on. What's this? A mana lantern. Okay, so if we get these, they don't have to go as far to to do it. I see, okay. Look, we've got a lot of tasks for people to do. Let's kill a rat, or more. Because we've got a load of lights we want to build, right? But we also might want to make a wand. We also want someone to do some research. There's a lot, there's a lot potentially happening. Uh, are these rooms no longer dimly lit? You're dimly lit, you're well lit. Okay. We need to kill more rats. Okay. Keep killing the rats, please. Uh, let's put some more torches down. There's one there. There's not one in here. And we were going to build one on this side wall, right? And you're still dimly lit, even after having two in here. So I guess we can put one here. And we've got enough resources. Let's kill more rats. Okay. Nice, these are ready to harvest, and we are harvesting them. Perfect. Another void cab that we need to harvest. Did we make a wand? Have we done that? I don't know. How do I tell? How do I know if I made a wand? Summon student. One selection, a dark wand. No dark wand available. So, no, we haven't built it. We've got everything we need. Let's go and set this a priority five. Someone will come and do it. Nice. And have we now got enough to do some lights? No. More rat killing, please. The wand is happening. We'll see if we can summon a student. Then we might wrap up, but I'm not quite enjoying this. We might make this a, a little bit of a longer series towards the end of this. Let's um, summon a student. You, dark wand. Begin ritual. Here we go. Here we go. You know what we want to do, actually? We also want to build, I guess, some cots up here for bedrooms. I assume we're going to get more students in, so. Here you go. It's happening. It's happening, everybody. It's Ava. Ava is a student. No classes available for students. Build teaching stations to create classes. Learn. Place a learning stone. Okay. 
How's our lighting going? These are still dimly lit. God damn it. Can we kill some more rats, please? Maybe that should be Ava's job. Ava, you're the rat killer. I've decided. Can you do that? Beast care. I don't know if that's... Um, ward or hall? Okay. Guess you're not going to do any jobs. Thanks for that, then. Appreciate it. <laughs> Guess we'll just leave you to your thing. Oh, you're doing stuff. You're just not... Okay, you're putting stuff into storage and stuff. Okay, I like that. Um, you're building beds. I'd like some more... I'd like some more storage and stuff. This is going to be our classroom, so I guess we can boost this up. But then that's going to take one of our people and they're going to be busy, right? I do think like we need to do a better ritual. Do we do all of them? I'm just going to do two. We'll learn about classes in a second. Any any lights? No. Nope. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can get this up. Let's see if we can do the larger ritual and then we'll again wrap up over here. I'm you know what? First off, this game looks incredible. I've I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was going to, from what I could see on the Steam page, it looked like it was going to be a bit sort of clunky, but it's actually been really quite nice. Um, and I, I think there's this whole other element that we haven't seen about the underscore. I don't know what that entails. From what I could see, the screenshot looked like there was some kind of like battling mechanic, a bit like sort of Final Fantasy or something along those lines, or Pokemon, I guess. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like uh, and what that brings to the game. Nice, we've got this. Learn about classes. Let's just have a little look at this. Uh, the school offers a beacon of hope for magically gifted students. To make good on this promise, staff need to teach classes, allowing students to master their magic. To start classes, build a learning stone. Uh, during scheduled periods, staff will teach students what they need to base to learn on their wands and innate potential. Okay. Still got this going on. It's going to take a little while. And we've got no one doing any research. Are you coming over here to learn? It looks like it. Oh my god, look how far the fog has gone. I guess we, we do that and then we quickly run over and pick up some of these things. Okay, interesting. That took a load of wood and some guppery. So let's come and chop these down at the very least. Anything else? We want a mandrake. Um, oh, we got some of these to harvest anyway, so we're okay with those, I think. We'll get rid of you. When was lessons? What time of the day are we? We're, we're here. Lessons should have happened now. You're just standing there. Are you learning anything? How do I tell if you're learning anything? I'm guessing someone's meant to be teaching you. Let's, um, priority. Is there a teach here? Am I missing something? Teach. Okay, who do we want to be our teacher? Is there a way of seeing like their skills for these things? I 
this is these, and these are all going to be pretty level, right? Dalton, you're our teacher. I've decided. If you could, Dalton, that would be lovely. Where are you? Oh, you're miles away. And I'm guessing we've just crossed over the time frame. Yeah, so now we're on cleaning time. Okay, well that's fine. So you're going to come out of the room and start cleaning. Everyone's doing their own thing. Um, we've still got the lighting issue, but have we got more lights that we can build? No. Someone kill some damn rats, please. This is nice. This is really nice. Um, and I guess what we can do is we could put a roof, another floor on here. We'll do that now, as we can bring this over. This way? Nice. Well, this is a bit weird. Looks like it's coming right up through our staircase, but... It's that whispering thing I can hear. You're eating. Everyone's good, I think. We've got meals. Um, we could probably do we're getting some chests to put some stuff in for storage. I think that would be wise. I don't know where we put that stuff. We'll put some there. I guess we could put it in the hallways as well, but... Okay, oh, there's a void room shroom in here. Ugh. We really want to get rid of this, so um, so no, no one has their mana drained, right? What's this? An ooze. Why is there an ooze in here? What's this ooze doing, and why? Grows from filth, I see. Okay. Hello. Who's 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 hunting? Who's hunting, please, people? Oh, and this is a you job wherever you are. Come on. Hunting the ooze. Ooze in school. Learning about oozes. Oozes are living slime balls that bubble up from magical messes. They appear in rooms with lots of filth, yeah, uh, and attempt to destroy furnishings in their vicinity. Use fire to hunt them, cooking and making potions naturally. Oh no, are you a, are you a fireman? Dalton? I mean, you look like you're a fireman. Fire wand. I think I may have just got very fortunate there, but... Kick its ass. Ooh, splatter. Nice. So, people should be cleaning, right? We need someone cleaning all of the time. He loves this job. Get cleaning, dolts. Cleaning is a very slow job. Look at it. And we should also set someone's top priority as, like, harvest. Fog is advancing again. We're okay with that. It's been pushed back quite a way. And you're coming back in here to do some more harvesting. Okay, perfect. You know what? This has been... Um, what is this game called? Mind Over Magic? I think that's what it's called. Mind Over Magic. It's available for about £17. It is in early access. It's very, very polished, I will say that. Um, as always with early access, it's worthwhile keeping an eye on, making sure you want to uh, to, to invest the, the money into it uh, if you think you get enough out of it. If not, hold on. But um, I've had an awful lot of fun with it. We'll probably carry on playing this after February. Um, so we'll pick up from here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, the 29 games in 29 days, please... 
hit the uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, follow us over on X at Scott Gaming. Um, check out YouTube members. We we upload every single video as early as we can, and uh, those videos have early access on. Um, all of the uh, the the twenty nine games have already have early access on them, plus all of the series that we're already doing. Um, also, you get access to all of the vods uh, from the live stream. So please check that out. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button, subscribe button. I'll see you again soon.